Earlier this week, we brought you the story of the naming contest being held at the National Aviary for their new Stellar's Sea Eagle. But we wanted you to get to know this new bird in town just a little bit better. So Chris DeRose touched down at the aviary today to get the word on the bird. She's big, she's beautiful, and she's the newest resident at Pittsburgh's National Aviary. Kathy Schlott, the director of animal programs and experiences, says that this 10 year old stellar sea eagle is doing quite well in her new home. And she also said that this young lady was largely brought here for a romantic reason. The National Aviary is a zoo and we work with other accredited zoos and we got her from a breeding program that is established at another zoo. So she came over here to be a mate with Kodiak so we can help be part of that breeding program in the future. Kodiak has lived at the aviary for 17 years and the hope is that these two will take a fancy to one another and possibly make a few chicks. This, of course, would help to preserve the species that's found throughout the wild in cold climates from Russia to Alaska. Stellar sea eagles are vulnerable to extinction due to things like hunting, habitat loss, and climate change. So a few offspring would be a good thing. Schlott says that these two are currently in the courtship stage right now. And while staff here at the aviary are waiting to see if these two birds of a feather will get together, they say this lady needs a name and there are actually four potential names that the public can help choose from. We have Aurora, name, that's for the Aurora Borealis up with the Northern Lights. We have Juno, um, city in Alaska. We have Sitka, that's also a city in Alaska. And we have Stella, for short for Stellar Sea Eagle. Voting can be done on the National Aviary's website with a $5 donation and the winning name will be announced at the end of the month. But no matter what the name of this regal eagle ultimately is, the hope is that she will be happy here in Pittsburgh and that her and Cody will continue to be ambassadors for their species and hopefully so will their offspring. Reporting at the National Aviary, Krista Rose, KDKA-TV News.